Hi guys, today I'm gonna explain to you briefly on how to operate PRA. But firstly first, let me introduce myself. My name is Cynthia with student number 22070524. So, without any further ado, let's just begin. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is to upload the file that I'm going to analyze. So you click open, read from file, wait for a second. Okay, so I'm gonna find the file that I'm going to analyze. Here you go. I need to rename the file first so I can recognize it easily. I'm gonna rename it Honest with American accent. Apply. Click X. Okay, now you click the voice. View and edit. Now you have this tab open for you. To play the sound, click tap on the keyboard. Are you being honest right now? Because I don't need this part, I'm gonna throw it away. You can click CTRL plus X to delete. Now, we need to find the pitch and intensity, but I'm just gonna hide the intensity graph because I want to focus work out on the pitch. Block the sound, get pitch, now you have the main pitch which is 208.32. Get minimum pitch. One hundred sixty three point five two. Get maximum pitch. Two hundred sixty six point four five. Now we have the number, and now we need to find on which word it has the maximum pitch and the minimum pitch. So apparently the minimum pitch is at the word honest. Block the sound again. Move cursor to the maximum pitch. And now the maximum pitch is at the word being. Next, we are going to do the same thing with the intensity. So first I hide the pitch. Then I show the intensity, get intensity, and the mean intensity is 75.79 in selection. Get minimum intensity, 45.105 in selection. Get maximum intensity, 79.30 in selection. And we also need to find at which word it has the maximum intensity and the minimum intensity. So apparently this is the highest point, which is at the word being. The minimum intensity is 45.105, so we need to find the point of this number. And I think it is around this area, because you can clearly see that it has the lower graph. This is at the word honest.
Next, we are going to make the text grid. So back to the menu, click annotate to text grid. And pay attention because we only need a single bar to make the text grid. You only need a word. So it's up to you to write any word. Like for example, I write my own name because it is easier. Make sure both the upper and the lower bar is the same word. Click apply. Block both the sound and the text grid. Click view and edit. And this tab will show up. Are you being honest right now? Click at any empty space. Click the small circle to make a borderline to separate each word. Are you Move the cursor until you find the right duration for the word. The first word is R, so I'm going to type it. And now, we're going to continue working on separating each word. When you are done, go back to the menu, block some room to draw the text grid, as you can see from the example above, and make sure you've already blocked both the sound and the text grid before you click draw, then apply, and the result will show up like this. Now because I want to copy it to my paper, I'm gonna click edit. copy to the clipboard and I later can paste it to my word. Next, we're going to draw the pitch. This time we only block the sound. Click analyze periodicity to pitch then apply. You can see the page is being added to the list. You want to change the color to make it easily recognized. I choose red. Click draw. Then apply. The result will show up like this. Continue to the intensity. Block the sound again. Remember, only the sound. Click to intensity, apply, and the intensity is added to the list. Change the color, click draw, apply, and the end result is this. We have searched for the text grid, we have searched for the maximum and minimum pitch as well as the intensity. So this is the end result.
I hope you guys understand. I've tried to make it as brief as I could, and I hope this helps. Before I end this video, I want to show you guys a brief summary that I've made. Because as I said before, I was told to make a paper to analyze three different sentences in three different accents, which is American, British, and Australian accent. I've made a comparison for the duration, intensity, and the pitch. Compare the three sentences. American accent has the shortest duration compared to Australian accent. While in terms of pitch, American accent has the lowest pitch, while British accent has the highest pitch. And the last one in terms of intensity, it seems that Australian accent has the lowest number compared to British accent. So I think that's all for my video. Thank you for watching and I hope this helps. Bye!